accessibility is one of the first things that I think about. Can I get access to this person? And if I can, will this person actually open up to me? Because if you have someone who's, you know, and giving you a party line all the time, it doesn't resonate. Number two, in the marketplace, I think, are there other films like this? Because, uh, you know, if you are treading the same ground, if you're making a film about food safety, then everyone's going to go, oh, it's like Food Inc. <laughs> you know? I think, you know, practically, I think, is it doable? Is it going to be super expensive to make this film? And do I have it in me to raise the money that I would need to make this film? Probably most importantly, do I have the passion to be on this for the next four or five years? I think all filmmakers now are in the boat where you have to, to be able to get any funding, you have to go and shoot something. You have to go and get a sample. You have to get enough on tape that you can show to people. You know, there's different strategies. There is public funding, obviously, for documentaries and from some very, very venerable places, but it's highly competitive to get at. So I, I think that that's a great way to go, but I think that going to the private market is a really sensible way to go. So find other people in the world who are passionate about the thing that you are making a film about and, you know, explain to them how your film will help them move their ball forward and then smile nicely and ask for a check. I think the thing to be clear about though when you are raising money privately is no strings attached, you know, because if people are putting money into your project, it can't become like a puff piece, propaganda piece for their point of view. Find something that's personal, that is a world that you really know and you understand, um, and bite off a small piece, you know. Uh, educate yourself, watch a lot of other films, um, really watch a lot of films because it's the best film school you can go to. And then if you're a first time filmmaker, hire really talented people. So hire a really gifted DP who knows what he's doing. Hire a fantastic editor. I mean, if there's one thing you spend money on, you spend money on a really good editor. Make friends with other filmmakers. There is no one who will give you better advice, who will be able to better advise you which distributor is better for you or, you know, how to find a cameraman tomorrow in, you know, Gaza than other filmmakers. So make friends with other filmmakers and become part of the community because it's, I think, one of the finest communities that I know. It's The wonderful, magical thing about documentary filmmaking is you can think all you want about knowing what you're going to make, but then on the day you're in a situation and, you know, th the person says what you didn't think that they would say or they don't do what you thought they were going to do. And so you've got to be really nimble. You've just got to, you've got to switch off everything that you wrote in the proposal and you've got to be fully present there on the day and be um, flexible to see if, you know, you may have theorized that this was the thing in the story, but if something else starts to reveal itself, you've got to be smart enough to follow that. Remember that you're dealing with real people in their real lives, and that in the time that you make the film, you'll be in their lives for a few months, you know, maybe a year. Um, but the representation that your film becomes of this person lasts forever. So be very respectful. So the D word is an online resource. It's the D hyphen word.com. Um, it's an online community international with um, about 8,000 people online from something like 70 different countries. Um, there's a professional section for professional people who've made films and it is uh, a phenomenal resource, a community which is rich in knowledge and expertise and friendship. And if you show up at a festival you've never been to, chances are you'll have a group of friends to hang with because you'll have met them through the D-Word. So that's one fantastic resource that has made me the knowledgeable person that I am. Um, I think the International Documentary Association is another fantastic resource. And, and whether it's if you're not based in LA or New York where there's a lot more programming, you know, th there's opportunities to find local uh, organizations like the IDA which really put the community around you and give you some mentorship and you know writing proposals who to go to for funding this is stuff that there's people out there to give you help